I cannot believe that I'm about to say this, but I think that 2K may have taken a W today because I was actually checking the auction house and all the new Galaxy Opals are going for way less than they usually go for because at the moment, take a look at Ben Simmons. He has a 347 bid. Now, typically, any other day, this card would have been over 1 million MT, maybe even 2 million. This is a 611 points god, and it's Ben Simmons. Now, obviously, he doesn't have a high three-pointer, but at the same time, though, take a look at the auction house. There are so many of them, and I got to know down below in the comments, what do you guys think about the new packs that 2K ended up releasing? And leave a like right on the video if you want to get yourself the best Galaxy Opal in the game. But I am curious to know what you guys think because obviously your opinion might be different than mine. And oh my goodness, there's actually a lot of Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons in the markets. Way more than I was anticipating. Oh wow. Especially with obviously you can pull non-auctionable players. And so I definitely wasn't expecting this many. But there's a ton whoa okay maybe 2k did take a w and the reason that i say that is because again the players are cheaper than they usually are and it's because of the pack odds a lot of people were expecting 2k including myself to do something different after banning everybody and they did they made the odds 10 percent for a galaxy opal 25 percent for a pink diamond now obviously it does say that they give you a bonus seller player that is also non-auctionable and so instead of like having a chance of pulling an auctionable player now you can pull a non-auctionable one and it is a bonus player by the way keep that in mind they're calling it a bonus and so this is why i'm telling you guys right now the players are actually cheaper than they usually are i do want to take a look at scotty pippen though because scotty pippen is a really good card and let's take a look how much is he going for under 200,000 mt wow and this one has three extra hall of fame badges this one's over 200k this one's at 198 and this is just wild dude wait hold on hold on is he, is he gonna get another bid and will you look at that it didn't even get another bid it went for under 200,000 mt and this is crazy because now people that can't buy packs they can't buy vc or whatever the case is now they can afford it to buy these players because even last week guys i ended up selling a duplicate vince carter for nearly 700,000 mt now i will say you could make the argument that since people are banned at the moment there's not as much mt in the markets however the so you can definitely tell by the prices everything in the auction house that 2k finally made a change for the better i don't think it's perfect by any means but at the same time though i mean you can go into the markets and get a galaxy opal chat right now for 146 and by the way these are galaxy opals and so these are the best players that you can pull right now from packs and chets obviously is a seven footer so it's not like you're getting a scrub by any means like you're getting a seven foot demigod as well with chet right here and he's going for under 150,000 mt and so you can tell that the pack odds definitely did change the markets because not only is there a bunch of chats a bunch of galaxy opals but they're going for way less than they typically go for anytime that we get new packs and remember this is the first day by the way these cards literally just came out and it hasn't even been 24 hours and so the fact that the players are already going for that much it goes to show you that they're gonna keep getting cheaper and cheaper and i'm actually excited to see what they're gonna be doing for dark matters because obviously with ben simmons being a 98 overall you know what's after 98 right 99 and now we do have some dark matters in the trophy case obviously those dark matters have been here for a minute now and i'm assuming we're gonna be seeing some dark matters in packs very very soon and so i'm just hoping that 2k keeps it up though because if they only do it for this week then we're definitely gonna have a problem because 10 percent is definitely a game changer and if you guys saw the pack opening that i did i definitely did pull a lot of non-auctionable players which i did have to sell but at the same time though if it wasn't for the new change i wouldn't have pulled that many galaxy opals and so i feel like it definitely evens out and again you guys are seeing it in the auction house i'll give you another example too look at yao ming if yao ming would have been the same thing or he would have been part of these packs he would be going for a lot less and i say that because oh dude he's still two million oh wow i, I didn't think he was that expensive still he's still over two million mt and so if yao ming would have had these odds he would be a lot cheaper more people would be able to get him and you would see more in the auction house instead of like how many do we have right now one two three four five six there are six yao mings at the moment and so i feel like if 2k keeps it up and they keep the odds like this 10 percent and higher you know when dark matters come out hopefully they stay at 10 percent. they better not go back to less than two percent i swear 2k don't you do it don't you go back to less than two percent okay we want to see you know we want to see 10 20 maybe 25 maybe 30 percent i still think that we should definitely see guaranteed toppers for example we should be able to get a guaranteed galaxy opal as a topper impact especially since they're still charging 
200,000 BC for a box, which by the way is still $50. And so that definitely is a lot of money. That's almost as much as the game costs right now, even though at the moment it definitely, I think it's on sale last time I checked. And by the way, 2K, listen, get rid of this. Why? Why is there a glitch diamond draws in pack as a guaranteed player? Why? Make it make sense. The best players right now in packs are Galaxy Opals. Why are you giving us a diamond for 15,000 BC? And so 2K right now still has room to improve the pack market in my opinion. And I feel like a lot of you guys would also agree. And now that we know that 2K is willing to change and make things better, I'm hoping they keep it up. For example, there definitely has to be more ways of making MT. Now that some players are going to be non-auctionable, some are going to be auctionable and stuff like that. So 2K definitely does need to add more ways of making MT in the game. And they could do that by giving you more MT after you play certain games. Games. maybe they can add some agendas maybe some logic codes for some mt that'd be pretty cool too just stuff like that i feel like 2k can definitely keep improving the game mode and i'm hoping that they do keep it up but i do like the fact that galaxy opals are definitely cheaper and again this is still the first day and so ben simmons is going to keep getting cheaper you know the galaxy opal chats the scotty pippen they're already cheap but they're going to keep getting cheaper and ben simmons right now bro i have never seen a ben simmons come out and as good as he is at the moment be this cheap and so that goes to show you that 2K finally did something that actually does benefit a majority of the people in the game. And if they don't want people to buy MT, then they have to continue improving the game to where they can actually have access to these players. And I guarantee you right now that a lot of you guys now have access to Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons, all the new Galaxy Opals that we ended up getting versus any other day of the week. You know what I mean? I feel like you guys would agree with that, right? Let me know down below in the comments. And even though I did have to quick sell some Galaxy Opals in my pack opening, I still think that this was better than last week's pack opening and the pack opening before that and so on because i was actually able to get the galaxy opals and i actually had a chance of getting them and i did get them now i did have the quick sell some obviously i still wish the quick sell value was higher than 2500 mt for a galaxy opal it should definitely be way higher than that and i personally don't know exactly what that value should be but it should definitely be higher because at the same time though if it wasn't for the new change I may have not pulled any Galaxy Opals in the pack opening, you know what I mean? Like, I could have went zero for, like, who knows how many packs if it would have stayed at less than 2%. But instead, I was actually able to pull the Galaxy Opals. And for me personally, you guys know, I love collecting cards in my team. And so the fact that I have them in my collection, I would rather have them in my collection than not in my collection. And also now, I don't need MT to go buy the players since I ended up getting them thanks to the odds being 10%. And so that also goes to show you that not many people are trying to buy the player if they ended up opening the packs and got lucky and ended up getting the player that they wanted. So there's definitely going to be less demand for these players since the odds are better. And so that means that people that usually can't afford these players now can. And I feel like that definitely is a W for the majority of the people in the community. And even though it might be a little too early to know for sure if this was a W, I will say it's going to be very interesting to see what else 2K is going to be doing in the future. And so just let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about it. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Definitely check out the pack opening I did. Check out the No Money Spent series. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.